Hello YouTube, right in this video I'm going to carry on with some more on the Black Beard restoration project. I've got the tank, his ears and the grab handle already. They've had a coat of primer, been knocked back and been primed again. I'm going to get them ready for the top coat. Uh, I have had Plenty of guidance off Tony at Tony's Refinishing because um, I'm by no means a professional painter. This is a budget build so I've been trying to do as much as I can as possible myself just to keep the labour costs down because it wouldn't be viable paying somebody. Um, yeah, so the tank was in a sorry, sorry state of repair uh, but I have managed to repair it. It's come out nice. Um, it's ready for some colour. The uh, colour I've gone for will match the rest of the fairings. Uh, same with the ears and the grab handle. It's uh, all ready to go. Um, like I say, I've had some guidance off Tony, so he's told me now I've got to guide coat the tank, knock it down with some 320, and guide coat it again, and then wet it back with some 800 soft pads uh, ears and grab handle they they can just be knocked back with 800 soft pads because they, they the primes come out pretty smooth on them it's not too bad at all the tank is a it's a fair old tank and uh, i want it looking as pretty as possible hope you enjoy See why we use this guy coat now. It's a. Uh, I don't know if you, the camera is picking it up, but you can see just like little dimples, where it just needs a bit more blocking off. And obviously, areas that you've missed. Just to explain that. It's getting there. Let's crack on a bit more. all blocked out down with the 320. I have gone through in a couple of parts through the primer but I've spoken to Tony and he says that's no problem we can wet on wet that when before we put the base coat down. Uh, so I'm just going at it now with 
This is 800, 800 soft pad, bit of water, just forget any, any of the 320 scratches out and give it a final smoothing off before we attack the base coat. And I'll do the same with the ears and the, the grab handle. Now I've taken some pointers off Tony and I'm ready to get the base coat down on the tank. You can't quite make the colour out until it's been cleared but most Honda and Mark Marquez fanatics will realise the scheme I'm going for on the Otart already. If you do, keep your comments to yourself, just let the other other people keep, keep on gassing because I've been trying to keep it undercover for now but... Uh, yeah, it, it, you're right. <laughs> now, I've saved a lot of money not only doing all the work myself on this little budget restoration, but I've also saved on knowing someone with all the gear I could use. I've saved on a spray booth I could use, having gun tubables at hand that I could purchase from the body shop connected to our powder coating business. Plus, I've had the training hours and the tutorials, etc. So, please don't jump in and assume you can have a tank done at a body shop for £65 that what it cost me you, you, you're not going to get it done you take a tank of body shop you're looking at £350 plus depending on colour and condition etc and having done this myself now I can see why I spent 18 hours on this tank plus materials plus consumables and that's only so far that's without applying the decals polishing it up you know, it has made me appreciate the way it goes into something like this for what is very little cost if you do go take it to a body shop.
the base coat down. Uh, it took a fair few coats because it's orange and it takes a fair bit to cover. Tony's just come in to show me how to go on about the clear. He's got the first coat of clear down for me on the tank and I've got the mirrors to the right of me. Um, he's going to come back in, show me the settings on the gun a bit more and I'm going to finish the clear up on him. Let's get cracking. Now, for the first time I've ever repainted anything body weight wise, uh, obviously apart from Cerakote or Powder Coat, I've followed the correct procedures using the correct materials. This has come out better than I was expecting. Bearing in mind, I've still got to flat it back off. I've got to apply decals, another clear coat or two, and then polish it up. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with it. Massive thanks to at Tony's refinishing for the training and the, allowing me to gain this opportunity. I've actually got a family member's complete bike to repaint to save him a little cost so it's given me a bit of knowledge and confidence to do that now too. Plus it's another step towards me completing this restoration project. I need to get my arse in gear, I need to complete it before September because I'm hoping to take it on here a track day to prove to people that it's not a sports tour it, it is an actual hyper sports bike so 
it's given me a bit, bit of a kick in the arse gate done. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay human, and I'll see you in a bit. Coming around again Turn